Welcome back to my channel. This feels strange. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sat here and it feels strange. I have been thinking about doing this video for quite a while now and I don't know. I've just been like thinking, maybe overthinking about what I might say, what I wouldn't say. So I wrote some notes down to just check in with you guys and yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so this video is going to be a positive one. That's one thing I told myself. I always want to make people smile and I always want my content to be an element of escapism for some people. Like, I'm a Disney child, guys. So, like, I love to just, you know, immerse myself in escapism sometimes, a little bit of a bubble. And that doesn't say that I'm not, like, able to face reality. But I wanted to start this video by saying thank you. I just want to say thank you to every single one of you who have liked, commented, shared, followed, bought something or like, like just supported, like if, if you've ever bought like my lashes when I had my lash collab or like even if you didn't buy them but just shared them or if you commented and you like just, just any single way like means the world to me and I think you guys know that like I've always been super 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 thankful for everything I always count my blessings and I just feel really lucky and if you are new to this channel hi my name's Danny without you guys I don't think you understand that I wouldn't be here and I also wouldn't be in a position where I'm able to maybe take a little bit of a break from YouTube and stuff like that I think we all know that I have been not so consistent and we've gone from posting more often to less and there's been a reason for that. There's been many reasons for that and I guess a lot of people are asking like, are you quitting YouTube? Are you coming back to YouTube? And I have become very, very active on other social media platforms. I'm going to get into everything. I feel like this video, I'm going to get into the nitty gritty. I'm going to talk about everything, girl. Grab a drink, grab a coffee, a little iced tea, a little matcha latte, you know. things I really wanted to talk about was kind of recapping what's happened this year and I don't really like I think YouTube is the space where I'm able to be really really personal with you guys and just show you who I really am on the rest of the platforms I struggle to do that somehow I like I just feel like people just want like makeup stuff and like lifestyle and a bit of fashion and it's all quite like uplifting and stuff which is amazing but YouTube is that one space where I have been so vulnerable with you guys and I have a really close relationship with you and so I don't want to lose that if I look back on this year and have a bit of a recap, you know, you might know. Um, I didn't post much about it, but earlier on in the year, I lost my grandfather. And that has been such a life-changing experience for me. I've never experienced loss like that. And I was very close to him. It is a whole process and a whole journey that I've had to learn and really, like, get my head around things. And I think now I'm feeling emotional about it. I was emotional about it earlier on in the year and I will always be slightly emotional about talking about about this because yeah it's just you know when you lose someone you love it's just really really hard so obviously that happened we came out of the what I call the situation you know the the Rona um, situation and that was another thing that kind of was a bit of it took time for me to get my head around. And I think like the headspace has been something that I've really had to like refigure and, you know, kind of really think about, okay, where's my mindset at? Where, where am I like, you know, I'm super positive all the time, guys. And I know some, sometimes people like wonder why, but I, I'm just, I really like being that positive person. Like I just am that positive person. And I feel like definitely this year I started finding myself becoming less positive and a little bit more negative. I'm also aware that I'm filming in my living room right now with no lights and it's getting dark outside so I'm losing light. <laughs> so I've also found that over this year there's been lots of changes within the industry, there's been changes within how social media is and how people interact with social media, um, the kind of content people produce, there's been just like loads of changes in terms of like 
how I live or like people around me and like things that influence other people. It's, there's just been so much change and I'm a Taurus. We don't really like change so much. We like growth. We like change when it's on the positive, but when change is sometimes like not positive, we don't really like it. And that's been one of my things this year where I've really just grown to grasp change and know that change is normal, change is natural, change is progressive. And change can also be a really positive thing. It could be a room where, or like a space where you can close some doors and then like open other doors and it could be you evolving as a person and i think that without change you won't be put in like outside of your comfort zones and then therefore you won't grow as a person there's also been loads of stuff which i was planning on doing like pre rona and i don't, I don't even know if i'm allowed to say it like do we get like does our video lose visibility if we say that word? I don't know. But yeah, I've, well, I've already said it anyway, so I'm just gonna say the word. Um, yeah, so basically like pre-pandemic, I felt like there were so many projects that I had on my plate and they were really cool, exciting stuff. A, a lot of stuff that actually involved you guys and stuff that was just really cool. And all of that obviously just got plugged and you know, it kind of like changed direction, which is also really, really cool. It's fine. Um, I'm sure we all have like, some things that kind of like changed for us during that time which we were not so happy with and then later on in the year i had another really bad loss where i lost a really like dear friend of mine and that was just really hard like that was a like a childhood school friend of mine who is my age and I just couldn't believe that I had to then experience that again. I was just like, okay, what's going on? And that was really hard. That was a tough one. Those things really shook me and they made me reflect. They made me see life a little bit differently and they made me just look inside and think, okay, what's really important here? Like what's, what's going on? So I decided that I needed to work on some things and that's, the next part of what I really want to talk about, like what I needed to work on, like what, what is it that I had to like process? So one thing I realized is that I definitely needed more structure. Um, I'm someone who just really likes structure. I like planning. I like have a journal. I like writing things down. I like planning my daily to-do list, weekly to-do list, monthly to-do list, yearly to-do list. I'm just that person who I feel like when I'm in that, structured environment i work better and and the media as well just kept on like bombarding us um after a pandemic like with so much negative news and so much like news is just like oh god I've, i'm trying to like limit my news intake because it's just not a positive space all the time i also realized that things that i needed to work on were like friendship circles and what i do with my friends offline and online and my online friends and my offline friends and you know just really kind of making sure that i'm around people who hype me up who are backing me who make me smile i saw this quote actually recently that was just like pay attention to how you're feeling when you're with people and like how they make you feel so obviously like if you're around family or friends or like partners whatever and every time you're with them you're just getting like weird vibes weird energy then that might be a red flag guys that might be a red flag so so i've really learned to just take a bit more time offline with my friends and just enjoy those moments like not everything has to be shared online so I do still see a lot of friends. Something else I really needed to work on is having like <laughs> offline hobbies and activities. I love working. I just love working so much. I feel like it's just something inside of me that I just love to work. If I'm not working guys, I get quite bored. I'm someone who likes keeping myself very busy. So having these offline and like activities and hobbies is a hard one because I'm like, wait, what? But I have found a little bit more space for that and I've been really enjoying it, whether it's like trying to learn how to cook. And it's been quite hard to actually like try to change your habits from like, like I said, like earlier on in the year when I felt like things were quite negative and I had maybe like bad habits and moving that into a more like positive space. Plus learning how to be still and like present 
and not always be like go 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 and trying to like be and live in the moment which is kind of hard like sometimes it's really hard to be like that because you might want to always like live in the moment stuff but you also have stuff that you need to do you know so next i really want to talk about where i am at right now and as you see me sat here <laughs> where i'm at because that was probably me like earlier on in the year and now we're at the end of 20, 20 i can't even speak 2022 we are at the end of 2022 which just feels so crazy it actually feels really crazy saying this so where am i at right now so in i don't think i've actually announced this but i've actually got management now which is huge news i am so so excited about this new chapter and if you've been following me for a while you know that i've actually been really wanting to expand my team now for quite some time so it's really exciting there are definitely projects and things that i still really want to do for 2023 so we are planning that i am obviously going to be i haven't started actually writing my goals for 2023 yet but i will i i have some ideas of what i really want to achieve and like this year i actually had a vision board which i had on my phone also where i'm at now is there's probably a lot of new people on here right now watching me since we last were quite consistent and that's because i had an amazing opportunity with youtube for pride and they featured me as one of their pride creators there was only seven people picked and i was so shook to be chosen as one of those people it meant that i had a lot more visibility on this channel and so we have loads of new besties i also want to be very hopeful for tomorrow and what comes what opportunities what more is there out there um obviously from the title of this video your boy's not quitting oh hell no i'm back i am back <laughs> like i said at the beginning you guys know i've always been super open and honest with you on this channel and i will forever be open and honest with you i will not hold things back you will see my highs and my lows i will definitely be doing like um like, like i said like a few different things so there's going to be vlogs there's still going to be beauty there's still going to be like a bit of lifestyle in there there's going to be a little bit more self-love content there's going to be like home content there's, there's going to be a mix if there's anything specifically you guys want me to film let me know like i said i've already started filming a few different things but um we'll be we'll be doing some like festive christmas content which will be coming oh yeah so yeah, like I said, let me know if there's any videos that you'd love me to film. I'm always open to suggestions. I've been writing my kind of plan and structure, like again, the structure thing. I've been writing like a plan of videos that I want to be filming from now until the end of the year. So I've already started on that. As a huge thank you as well, I am also going to be bringing the makeup and skincare bundles back. So they are coming soon. If you are new to this channel and you're wondering what you're talking about, this is where I basically... Um, well, we can pack some together later on actually. I basically have these bundles. I'm gonna leave a link down below and you can grab different types of them. There's like a stocking filler, a, a main one and an ultimate one. And what we do is we try to raise money for like a charitable cause. And you guys get like, like these amazing products. So they are coming soon guys. I am planning everything for you. That's kind of it. Like basically strap up, get ready because we have more content to come. Um, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for listening to me just talk. I know this video hasn't really been like, nothing's really been happening. But I just really want to come here and say hello. Um, I wanted to welcome all the new people on this channel as well. And I just wanted to say that I'm not going anywhere, baby. I'm here, you know. I'm still here, girl. I'm still strong. And one thing about me is that I can get knocked down. But I will always dust myself off and get back up again. And I do that because I have you guys supporting me and hyping me up and just showing me the most amazing love. Yeah, that's about it. If you want to share anything about your own story as well, um, about how you've been feeling of anything that's happened this year, um, I know I've opened up and I'm really personal and honest and open with you guys here. So yeah, just let's have a chat. Let's have a chat. I'm, I'm, always, I'm always down. And I will see you on the next one, guys. And keep posted because from here on up, just got good content, positive vibes. Unless something else happens, but we're going all up. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.